Well, I uh, made the biggest purchase that I ever made as a part-time reseller. Last night, I uh, met with somebody that I put out a little ad on Facebook saying that I buy unwanted collectibles, and I got an answer. This happened about a month ago. As you know, I'm a part-time reseller. I sell on eBay. Uh, one of the things that I really enjoy selling are vintage collectibles. Um, probably when you look at me, uh, you wouldn't assume that I would buy maybe something like this, uh, but it was a good deal, and I think I'm going to make some good money on it. So let me show you what I got. You'll have to pardon my mess a little bit here. I'm in the garage, uh, but I have 10 totes. Uh, here's seven of them here, three back there. Uh, but check it out. This is what they're full of. All new in box vintage Barbie dolls. Here's another one. Every tote is full of brand new new in box vintage Barbie dolls. Some even still have the Toys R Us sticker on them. Here's another tote for a quick peek. Uh, some of those, even those collectible ones, got a Coca-Cola one, all kinds of different ones. Uh, but yeah, Elvis Presley. So pretty cool, pretty cool. So resellers, newbie resellers, uh, moral of the story, if you don't tell people you resell, you might not find deals like this. If I wouldn't have put that ad on Facebook, I would have never found this deal. Uh, nice young lady, we came to a, a deal uh, with a price uh, for about $150. Uh, I paid $450 for it, so that's about three bucks a pop. Um, so pretty good deal for me. She made some money. I'm going to make some money all as well. All right, so just moved all the totes to the basement. I wanted to get them out of the garage because it's getting really cold. Uh, I don't know about this hat. I just threw it on. I'm actually selling this hat. A little vintage nylon half Cardinals. Doesn't look good on me. That's okay. So let me show you what I got going on here. I'm kind of out of breath. Moved all those totes down here. Um, and I'm going to tell you what I've got uh, planned for it all. So like I showed you, I got them up against the wall here. There's nine totes right here. Uh, and like I said, these are all chock full of vintage uh, new in box Barbie dolls. You may have already saw that one on the video. Uh, I do have another box over here. Um, this has just got some Barbie stuff in it, some other miscellaneous things, some Barbie like ornament things, that kind of deal. So this is what I think I'm gonna do. This stuff I'm going to keep set aside, uh, and I think I'm going to do an auction eventually on whatnot. In some of my videos, you've probably heard me mention uh, selling like these Funko Pops on the Whatnot app. The Whatnot app is also really good for auctions. You can do like 30 second auctions, set it at a dollar, people come in, uh, buy your stuff, you know, and then you're done. So with all those Barbie dolls that I have here, I think what I'm going to do. Uh, any um, any of the dolls that are kind of like on the low end, like maybe under $8, the market value is, I'll probably put those aside in this tote in front of me that I just showed you. And I'll do like an auction on whatnot for the lower value ones. And then do those other ones that like, there's some like McDonald's Happy Meal Barbie things and do giveaways on those and that kind of thing. So uh, whatnot has become pretty popular with some resellers and I've been watching them and uh, doing like little quick auctions and that kind of stuff. So that's the plan. So I'm going to start listing the stuff here in front of me. I'm just going to keep them in the totes. I think what I'm going to do, um, I'm not going to label the tote until I listed all the inventory in the tote. So once I label it with like a double C or whatever I decide to for my SKU number, then I'll know that entire tote has been listed. And then I'll move on to the next tote and I'll get all these listed. I'm going to list them first on eBay, and at the same time I list them on eBay, I'm going to list them on Facebook Marketplace, because that's been doing really good for me. And like I said, I'm going to pull the other ones aside. If there's any that aren't any, like, really worth anything, so far there's, they're pretty good, but you never know. There's some small ones in there that might not be worth much. Uh, and I'll pull those aside, do a whatnot auction. There you go. Pretty excited about this. Like I said, it's a pretty, uh, it's the first, this little biggest 
sourcing purchase I've ever made. So, uh, but this is the kind of stuff that I want to do for sure. More, more purchases like this. Hey, what's going on there guys. Good evening. Little update on the Barbie situation. You probably saw my last video. If you didn't, uh, I sold 22 Barbie items to one person, which was great. I end up selling one more additional high dollar Barbie and I'll pull that one. I'll show you. I'm not going to show you every single Barbie. I'll have to check out that other video. Um, but total sales for today and Barbies were, um, I think $427, uh, gross sales. So that's pretty good. There's the stack, 22 Barbie items. Um, but I have to try to get them in that box, probably two of those Franken box. Let's see what happens. Right, here's the other high dollar one. This is actually uh, not a Barbie. It's Mary Kate and Ashley Olsen, uh, new in a box. This one was actually the second one that I pulled from the totes and the comps on them were like 80 to $90. I did a little video on it, uh, but I knew this one was gonna sell pretty quick and it did. I took an offer on it, $65 plus shipping. Okay, so you just saw that uh, large buy that I had uh, on eBay with the 22 some odd items and then the one big one I had. That was the biggest sale to Barbie so far. Uh, I just want to kind of touch base with you guys, uh, just let you know how everything is going because I have not been uploading as much as I would like to and what I have been in the past. Uh, probably going to switch things up a little bit um, and just kind of try to do more videos, especially with yard sale season coming up. Uh, I'm just going to start doing more uh, videos with sourcing uh, dealing with yard sales, maybe just particular items. Uh, I'll probably still show some um, stuff that I sell, like a what sold videos, that kind of thing, but I'm not going to be doing it as much. I'm kind of getting burnt out on that. It's the same thing all over and over again. I want to do something new. So just let, let you know what I've done so far with the Barbies, and I'll kind of throw some comps up uh, as I go here. I'm not going to show you every single Barbie that I sold because I've actually sold a lot. So as of today, which is March 13th, um, I've told, I've sold a total of 61 Barbies. Uh, I originally bought somewhere around 150. I don't know what the exact count was. Uh, I think it was right around 150, maybe a little less. I've sold a total of 61. Um, uh, my grand total of gross sales so far are $1,266.49. Uh, the average price that I'm selling per Barbie is, uh, $20 and 76 cents. The highest ones that I've sold, I've sold a few for $65 and the lowest that I've sold for, I think it just one or maybe a couple of them for uh, $10. Uh, so that's my range right now. I still have somewhere around 80 or more between 80 and 90 to sell. And like I said, they're selling at $20 a pop. So I spent uh, 450 bucks on the Barbies. Right now I'm in the profit, $800. This is not including fees and all that kind of stuff. Um, but I am still on pace to make you know, uh, another possibly what, $1,600, $1,500. Uh, if it's, they still going and if I'm doing my math correctly, let me double check like 80 times, uh, about $20. Yeah. I mean, you're figuring 15 to $1,600. So that's pretty good. That's what I want to do. Uh, as a reseller, I want to buy collections like that. That's the kind of stuff I want to be reselling. Uh, I know I'm not going to find that every day, but who knows? So all right, guys, so that's about it. Uh, like I said, I'm sorry that I have not been uploading as much as I possibly can. Uh, there are going to be some changes. I'm going to try to do some different stuff, different videos, just kind of spice things up for you and for myself because it's kind of getting monotonous and I want to change things up. Uh, another thing coming soon, as you can see, this beautiful t-shirt that I have here. Uh, Joe's going to get into the merch line. So well, uh, we'll see how it goes. I'm, uh, I got something planned for t-shirts. I got some pretty good ideas and I'll probably be releasing that pretty soon. So, um, if you want to show your support for the resellers and, uh, picking community, especially myself, um, I'll let you know whenever I have this uh, website available and you can make that purchase and, uh, you can let everybody know that you're a reseller and you support resellers and, uh, also, you support not so slim picking. So I appreciate the time. I appreciate you guys coming by the channel. Uh, thanks for watching as always. If you, uh, you want to like, subscribe, please do so. And you want to leave a comment, uh, uh, go ahead and I'll get to you in one of my videos. So thanks for watching.